Hello, Grade 11, and welcome to a new comprehension lesson. The theme still is Adolescent Issues, and the lesson is called A Time of Big Change. Obviously, this title refers to the huge changes that take place during this stage where you guys as adolescents are trying to establish your identity and carve out the person you're going to be in the future. Now, I'd like you to take a look at this video. Okay, now, read the following article about the stage of adolescence and how young people should be helped to cope with it. The time of big change. Adolescence can be a puzzle to many. They can be, you know, uh, confusing. Adolescence is a time in one's life when the brain develops quickly and the body grows and matures faster than later in life. While adolescents are generally healthy, behavioral and mental health problems, including alcohol and drug misuse, violence and obesity may affect this group. These health problems can lead to risky or impulsive actions. Impulsive means uh, when a person does something without thinking about the consequences or the effects. Risky or impulsive actions that can limit an adolescent's opportunities later on in life. Giving adolescents the chance to build knowledge and skills that promote positive emotional and social experiences allows these young people to avoid negative health outcomes and grow into more productive adults. So here, this is the thesis statement and the author is uh, in the text is going to talk about ways with which adolescents can be helped in this very turbulent stage to become more productive adults in the future. Paragraph two, during adolescence, young people learn how to form safe and healthy relationships with different people such as parents, teachers, and romantic partners. Both boys and girls often try on different identities and roles during this time to maintain their psychosocial development, developing, developing their mental health and developing their social life. Peers, in particular, pr play a big role in identity formation. The relationships with caring adults are also important for adolescent development. Often the parent-adolescent relationship is the one relationship that tells how a young person handles other relationships. So obviously this is a very important relationship. The, the type of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, communication you have with your parents will affect you it will affect your future relationships. Paragraph three, moreover, in the lives of adolescents, friendships play a vital role, very important. A circle of caring and supporting friends can help adolescents transition to adulthood. Parents, teachers, and other adult role models can help young people learn how to make good friends. Still, forming and maintaining friendships during adolescence can be challenging, difficult sometimes. Peer pressure often affects young people and might lead them to make wrong decisions. Adults can set good examples, teach interpersonal skills, and help adolescents nurture, grow positive friendships. One important lesson is that friends can say no to each other but never break friendship. Unfortunately, adolescents might sometimes develop unhealthy relationships and experience or exhibit bullying or violence. Bullying usually involves an imbalance of power, an intent to hurt, a decision to hurt, and a repetition of this behavior. Many adolescents have experienced bullying, whether they bullied someone else, saw someone being bullied, or were bullied by others. Adolescents who bully use their power to control or harm, and those being bullied sometimes feel powerless to defend themselves. Even though bullying is a serious problem, it can be prevented or stopped when those involved know how to address it. So if you are being bullied, if you know how to address this issue, to deal with this issue, you will overcome it. And the best thing to do uh, is either get support from your friends. If that doesn't help, you need to get support from an adult, a parent, a supervisor, a teacher, someone you trust. 
Paragraph 5, adolescents need to develop important mental health habits, including coping and good judgment, to help them achieve overall well-being and set the stage for positive mental health in adulthood. Although mood swings are common during adolescence, only 1 in 10 adolescents has a diagnosable mental disorder. So mental disorders are like 10% among adolescents. It's not like the huge issue we think it is, such as depress depression and or anxiety disorders. Okay, friends and family can watch for warning signs of mental disorders. This is where... Okay. Parents should be careful, warning signs of mental disorders, and urge young people to get help. Effective treatments exist and may involve a combination of psychotherapy and medication. Paragraph 6, resilient, meaning strong, adolescents are those who have managed to cope or deal effectively with their issues, even in the face of stress and other difficult circumstances and are poised, ready to enter adulthood with a good chance of positive mental health. A number of factors promote resilience or strength in adolescence. Among them are caring relationships with adults and an easygoing disposition. Adolescents themselves can use a number of strategies, including exercising regularly to reduce stress and promote resilience. Besides resilience, adolescence is a good time for children and youth to begin taking responsibility for their physical health, from what they eat to keeping fit. In addition to maintaining a healthy diet and being active each day, they should get a good night's sleep, receive dental checkups, twice a year dental, you know, your teeth, and have a physical checkup once a year. During this phase, adolescents with chronic conditions, conditions that last for a long time, like asthma, depression, and ADD, ADHD, uh, hyperactivity disorder, can begin to learn how to manage these conditions. Other than the first years of life, there is no other developmental period during which individuals grow more than during the years of adolescence. These years, are the time to more to form positive habits that will improve adolescents' long-term health and well-being. Expanding knowledge of what reduces all kinds of risks among adolescents to attain positive youth development is an, as important as engaging a variety of partners and stakeholders who can positively affect the lives and health of teens and of teens now in the future. So those around you can help. They could be a positive, uh, they could have a positive effect of, uh, on you and lead you, adolescents, to have a bright and productive future. Now, uh, let's move on to our first set, first set of questions A. Uh, answer the following questions in one to three complete sentences using your own words. Please read the directions carefully. One to three. According to paragraph one, how does building knowledge and skills help adolescents? This is paragraph one here displayed. Adolescence can be a puzzle to many. Okay, it's a time where the brain is developing, etc. Okay, now these health problems can lead to risky or impulsive actions that can limit an adolescent's opportunity, giving adolescents the chance to build knowledge and skills that promote emotional, <clears throat> positive emotional and social experiences allows these young people to avoid negative health outcomes, etc. So this is how uh, building knowledge will help adolescents here. Not building knowledge and skills. Number two, based on paragraph three, what is the disadvantage of adolescents having close friends and how should adults deal with it? We talked about it. We talked about peer pressure. Okay, sometimes, sometimes it could be negatively to engaging in negative behavior, okay, and might lead them to make wrong decisions. Number three, according to paragraph five, does the author consider adolescent mood swings a serious problem? No, he doesn't. He thinks that uh, it's not because only 10% uh, or 1 in 10 adolescents actually have an, a mental issue like depression or excessive anxiety. Okay? 
let's take a look at the answers here. Okay. Uh, when you're watching it, the video, you can stop and read the answers uh, thoroughly, please. Now, part B, uh, I displayed the chart here because I want you to know how we answer such questions. Refer to paragraphs 2, 5, and 6. So it's a, it's a referential sort of uh, question. To complete the table below with the purposes of adolescent strategies. So an adolescent uses this strategy or this method, developing mental health habits. Why? Why does an adolescent need to develop mental health habits? Okay, you go back to one of the paragraphs. They're not necessarily in order, by the way, okay? To help them achieve overall well-being and set the stage for positive mental health into, uh, in adulthood. So the reason why they are taking this strategy, this is like a cause effect chart, okay? All found in those paragraphs. This is it for the lecture. Your assignment will be posted as a worksheet in the school app. You need to answer B, C, D, E, and F in the worksheet a Time of Big Change. For any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to ask me on Zoom Live. And see you soon. Stay safe.